Hello guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod spotlight video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the all-American M1A1 Thompson, M1911, M1 Garand and BAR. Made by Warfighters Workshop. Now I don't actually know why they have BAR in the title because there is no BAR. You know the, the big rifle that you typically associate that name with. Unless one of these guns are nicknamed BAR for some reason. Um, but it, it actually adds four guns to the game. Now, uh, one is called the Owen Gun, and it is only for the Bri Next Gen patch, and because I don't want to downgrade my game, uh, I can only show off three weapons, which seems to be the ones that the person focuses on for some reason. And as you could, whoops, <laughs> my bad, sorry. As you can see, it as the, the, this is the Ad M1, A1, M1, sorry, M1A1 Thompson that adds to the game, and this is the M1911. And of course, the good old faithful M1 Garand. Now, all of these are ported from Call of Duty Vanguard. You say what you want about Call of Duty and their games. But one thing they do really well is like gun animations and, and usage of these weapons and guns and so on and so forth. Now, let me quickly show off how they all work. Uh, as you can see, they don't use any different kind of type of ammo. They do support tactical reload though. And for each of them, they have a pre-next gen version and a next gen version. Uh, they also have... Uh, a brief history of all the guns on the, uh, the the front page of the mod. Again, if if you want the mod, by the way, uh, isn't it? I don't know why I said again because I haven't said it this video. But if you want the mod, is in the description down below. Uh, I'll say that again at the end of the video, just reminding you in case you want to read that. So let's start with the M1A1 Thompson here. As you can see, it even uses the animations from Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm assuming they of course got permission to use this, uh, but usually they have. But it, they don't state it. At least they, maybe they do state it, but I missed it. I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's a beautiful weapon with beautiful uh, animations. Anyway, let's just show it off really fast. Very hard to actually control the recoil. And of course, the beautiful animations. And that's a little preview of the Thompson. Now we have the M1 Garand. Of course, it has the beautiful ping sound as well. Well, beautiful to the ears anyway. Performs exactly like I would expect one of those guns to do. Oops, wrong gun. Now let's take a look at the M1911 pistol. Again, beautiful animations, nice sound, nice and responsive as well, of course. And here's a brief look at the, the running animations and walking animations of all of the guns, in case you're interested in how it looks like and feels like to run around with them. And of course, the Thompson here as well. Now, personally, I would prefer the animation to actually hold the handle of the gun instead of the mag. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's because the Thompson wasn't really used as a long range with thingy. So usually they just kind of sprayed a room with it or something. Uh, so they didn't really use the handle a lot. Uh, but who knows? Now, let's actually take a look at all the different weapon attachments you can have. Let's start with the M1911. They add a lot of stuff. Uh, by the way, ignore the no legendary th thingy down here. It's from another mod I have. Um, but they have all of these different receivers and all these different things. I don't know why this is locked. I don't know how to get Gunslinger 5, but um, anyway. You can upgrade it to do a ton of damage, 120 to be exact, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you can have all of these kind of... <laughs> all these weird ammo makes. I don't, I don't really understand how they work, but it changes the ammo type and stuff, so that's kind of nice. It doesn't seem to change the damage, though. Although it changes how light it is, the, dam the actual ammo type. And they even have this uh, optic thing where you can add different optics to the weapon as well, of course. I'm not the biggest fan of that, I like the normal basic look. They have a silencer here you can use and all of all the different kinds. Of course you can have different crypts as well. Heavy ones and some that incre de increase the fire rate and everything. A delicate trigger with the fastest fire rate. You can even change the logo of the pistol, which is kind of cool. Of course, here's the crib you can change as well. You can change the logo and the... I suppose... Wait, does it even change the stats? I don't think so. Uh, actually, it, it says it does. So I'm assuming it does, but it doesn't reflect on the actual stat window on the left side. And then kit, this is like an extra effect you can add to it. 
which is kind of cool as well. Proficiency, here you can straight up just boost it if you want to, like boost your weapon. In case you feel like it's too weak, you can go ahead and uh, change it. And here you have the different kind of ammo you can straight up just kind of upgrade it with. This is the ammo type itself. Now let's try the M1 Garand. The M1 Garand has something similar. Um, where it kind of just has the first one is more damage based and it increases the weight of course. The pistol grip. Uh, it doesn't seem to change the actual I mean I guess it just changed the grip but not the stock. So it's like just before where you actually hold it. Um, but yeah, it seems to increase accuracy and stuff in case you want to do that. And of course here you have a lot of different um, sights and different ammo types. Wow, okay. <laughs> it would be so sad if you would use this gun and remove the beautiful uh, or the, the, the air-pleasing ping sound from it. And of course you can make it stronger if you feel like the ammo range should be stronger. Same thing with ammo type and same thing with of course increasing its um, its abilities, so to speak. Underbarrel, here you can add like a bipod, a bayonet, and of course a flashlight in case you're in a lot of dark areas. Now the Thompson, here we go. Here we can see all the different ones. Now I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can, you can make it single fire if you really want to. If you really don't like automatic weapons, you can go ahead and make it single fire. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Look at, <laughs> you can make it into a monster. I like these two though. I, don't, I still don't know why I don't have Gun Nut 3 out of 4, I mean, but uh, oh well. In any case, uh, very cool attachments. I really like them. I'm going to try to not ruin the look of the Thompson. But these are some cool uh, ideas you can kind of just change. Oh, so this is why they don't have it on the actual stock, because you can change the stock and it would look weird. So instead of making two separate animations, they, they just kind of hold the drum, I see. Uh, and this is, of course, the grip itself that can assist in certain stats. And of course, if you want to make it stronger, although it doesn't seem like we can make this very strong. It is very fast firing, so maybe that's why. Now you have the different ammo types, the kit, which again, adds small abilities to the weapon. And here you can add the uh, magazines. Now I prefer the, the, the stick mag because I, I just like the classic look, although this might be a bit too long. I'm not quite sure. Here you have the different sides that I don't like using, uh, the different um, what are called muscles? Yep, there we go. And of course, the underbarrel. We can add a flashlight if you want. Okay, and now that we have altered them slightly, let's go ahead and see if the animations have changed. So here you can see we don't hold the drum anymore, but we still don't use the stock for some reason. Yeah, I do. I do like that animation a lot. Okay, that was this one. Now the pistol, I didn't change too much on it. Let's go ahead and change the actual um, mag first. Just just so we get a little different animation. Or maybe we get a different animation. Uh, magazine, there we go. Let's try this one. It looks very special. <laughs> See what this does. Okay, so it has a whole different animation. It acts a handle to the mag, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now, I'm not a professional with weapons, so I cannot say <laughs> how faithful these are and and what what they should be doing or how much they should have of damage and stuff. I will, however, just show them off to you guys in case you want to use them in your game. And here you can even reload like this. I still feel bad for mutilating these weapons and adding <laughs> attachments to them. Uh, to them, I don't really feel like would fit them that well, but it's okay. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty much just the weapons from um, Call of Duty Vanguard ported into Fallout 4. I don't see why you wouldn't use these weapons unless you feel like they are a little bit too... Uh, I don't know, too, too off-putting. Although it is proven in the Fallout universe that World War II uh, weapons do in fact exist. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why they haven't actually made any. I guess copyright, maybe? I, I have no clue. Uh, but anyway, these are three of the most famous guns in America, I suppose. And actually also in Europe. Like, I know about all of them because I play video games. But I'm guessing someone in uh, Europe who hasn't really... is not interested in war, don't know the name of the guns. Um, but anyway, th these are in movies, uh, games, everywhere uh, that has World War II, like, on it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. But uh, with that being said, uh, that's also all I can really show you about these guns. Uh, they are very cool looking. I like the models and everything. 
Uh, I don't know if I could credit the mod author for that, uh, but I'm guessing they did fine-tune them and everything, so they did a good job with that for porting them into actual, you know, into Fallout 4. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little gun showcase. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, in the description, you will find a link to the mod. In case you are interested, why are you hiding that dog meat? Oh well, anyway. Um, again, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next uh, Mud Spotlight or in another one of my videos. And as always, stay awesome.